Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason. Now, a while ago, I uploaded a video on uh, reviewing the SV Boney aspheric eyepieces. Now, in that video, I briefly went over what the optics are actually made of, uh, which is a combination of plastic and glass. Well, I thought a few of you might find it, you know, a little bit interesting if we actually dissected one of these things, we took it apart and, uh, and had a good look at that expheric lens that uh, these things are famous for. So, without further ado, let's take apart an eyepiece. Okay then, this is the uh, very uh, popular at the minute. Uh, this is the 10 mil uh, of the range of eyepieces. They come in uh, 23, 10 and 4, I do believe. Okay. Uh, one thing I didn't point out in the review I did, I will leave a link to that uh, review um, in the description, is one thing I do like, say these are a budget eyepiece, is, is they are blackened on the inside, uh, which, which is nice really for, for a budget eyepiece, and they're all threaded to, take, uh, to accept filters and such like. Right. Enough blabbing, let's undo this thing. Now, these are, these are constructed, really. I've never seen an eyepiece uh, constructed this way before. If you uh, take off the barrel, like this, we'll take this off. This actually holds the entire unit together like this, see? And this, this just comes off. This is just like a fancy belt. I think that and that is the only... This like a uh, copper, coppery coloured uh, trim here is the only metal on these things or what is classed as, what well, you could class as metal. Yeah, it's like a, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, the con construction, they've got to keep the cost down. I mean, these are incredibly cheap for, for what they are. Um, well, there is, it's like some kind of oil or something on there. I'll take that away, we don't want that. Right. So, how do you get into these things? Well, you have to take this off first. It's like little rubber eye cup. And there's like a, I should imagine you have a funny little tool on the, on, on here to uh, undo these. But they should, um, I have had this one off before, so there we go. And we spin this round and that will just come out like this. And this will expose the aspheric part. I have brought some kind of tool with me. Oh, there we go. There we go. Very simply constructed. Again, all plastic. All this is just plastic. So I wouldn't adv uh, advise doing solar projection with these eyepiece. Now, this is the aspheric lens itself. In fact, I'll just tip it out there like that. Now, in here also there is this lens which is a cemented doublet as you can see there i'll do a, some extreme close-ups of these this is just a, what you find in most modified acromats okay um so this is the actual now uh, sorry this is glass by the way okay this is glass and fully coated all right, this, I don't believe it's got any coat. Well, no, it won't have with it being plastic because this is plastic, all right? Um, it's a very odd looking lens when you when you see it. Um, what I'll do is, uh, well, well, just zoom the camera in a little bit and you can, uh, and I'll show you the shape of this thing. Okay, here we go. What, what I've done here is I've, uh, I've just got it in, a, in some pincers here. I think this is the easiest way of um, showing you. Um, as you can see, it just looks like a normal lens from uh, from this side. But if we actually turn it to the side, can you see how it bellies on one side? Yeah, on the it's to be on the left hand side as you look at it, won't it? And it's got like a fatter belly on that side. Well, that is the aspheric part of these eyepieces. This lens here I've got here. Now, this is out of a modified Acromat, okay? The one that you usually get supplied with mo most telescopes, especially sky watchers. Um, and this is your aspheric part. Again, uh, this is glass. 
this is plastic, this is the aspheric, this is the modified acromat. And I just wanted to show you, I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up, but the best way of showing you the strange shape of these is, or should I say explain to you the shape of these, is... Well, I really can't think of a better better word. These are more nipple shaped, <laughs> okay? Um, as opposed to uh, your modified Acromat lenses. I'll not put that one in the pliers because it's glass. These are more dome shaped across the top, if you get what I mean, all right? And uh, like I say, these are more, uh, the dome is more of a nipple shape. Never thought I'd say nipple on the internet, but anyway, there you go. <laughs> I just can't think of, a, of a, another word to explain the shape of the, uh, of the lens. So anyway, that's the uh, guts of a uh, SV Boney aspheric eyepiece. Well, I hope you enjoyed that dismantling of the uh, SV Boney eyepiece. If you like what you see here, please don't forget to subscribe. I do do regular uploads for the uh, beginner astronomer. In the meantime, take very good care of yourselves and I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.